Hi folks, so I am back as promised with the part 1 on the spectacle lens thickness. I hope you all remember the introductory part which I covered. In the introductory part, we had a very good discussion on the prescription and in this particular uh, presentation, we are just going to consider lens index. So let's start on our dispensing learning journey. So uh, just for a quick recap, remember this, the entire presentation and discussion that we are doing is based on these three expectations which customer wants from us. Spectacle should be cosmetically acceptable, good vision and adaptation, of course less weight for a comfortable long wear. I just want to quickly recap that we discussed on prescription and hope all of you remember the impact that the prescription has on the thickness. If not, then I would just request all to please go through the introductory video to have a better understanding. Going forward, on this particular presentation, we are going to look for index. And just for a quick reminder to all of you, in the thickness series, we have actually cover, we are going to cover these four topics, right? So particularly in this particular sequence, this video, we are going to learn on index. Refractive index, all of us know that higher the index, okay, lesser the thickness is going to be. This is a universal fact which all of us in the optical industry know that if we are going with a very basic index, the numbers that are mentioned on the top 1.50, 1.53, 5.7, 5.9, 1.61, right up to 1.74. The top profile is on minus lens, the bottom profile is on the plus lens and this is very well known fact that lower index will have a higher thickness, higher index will have a lower thickness. But this is not all. The thickness just that the, does not uh, uh, means everything because your index also has something called optics which we need to consider. But before getting into the optical properties, let us see the, how the real lens looks. Okay, so I have an example of minus 8 lens here for you. You can just compare the thickness 1.5 index and 1.74 index. Obviously, when looking at the lens, we feel that 1.5 is way too far thicker compared to 1.74. But yes, index wise, it is going to make a huge change. Look at the lens minus 8 on the top, which is 1.5. And look at the thickness, edge thickness of the lens at the bottom 1.74. But that is not all, just index is not everything. We also have to look into certain optical properties. Now this table I have simplified for you to understand. Green arrows are all positive, red all arrows are all negative and the blue double headed arrows is on par, I would say more balanced, right? So when we take CR39, material you can see a bay number a bay value or a bay number is one which will actually indicate the optical clarity higher the a bay number i'm not getting deeper but i'm just i just want all of you to remember this higher the a bay number of the material better the optical cl clarity okay higher the a bay number of the material lower will be the chromatic aberration okay that is why if the abbey number is high, the chromatic, chromatic aberrations is less and the optical clarity of the lens is going to be better. But you can see from the index column that as the index keep increasing from 1.49 right up to 1.74, abbey numbers are reducing, right? So what this indicates that the optical clarity in the lens will slowly reduce. But again, if you see the thickness column, which is the final column, the thickness for the best lens in terms of optical clarity, which is CR39, 58 is the highest, but the thickness for 1.74 index is the least, right? So basically now this is very important for us to understand that just index number is not very important but we have to find a balance between 
optical clarity and the thickness okay now there is a catch here to keep it simple for all of you what i have done is i've just got this table for you i have indexes available different indexes 1.5 1.56 1.6 67 and 74 and i have different power ranges available now uh, we have certain recommended powers total recommended power for that particular index now say from plano to plus or minus 2 you can stick with 1.5 index which is basic cr39 minus 2 to minus 4 1.56 index these are recommendations i would say you know uh, this is just for a guidance purpose 1.6 index you can see from plus or minus 4 to my plus or minus 6 1.67 index recommended power are plus or minus 6 to minus plus or minus 9 and anything above 9 will be in 1.74 index now let us consider an ideal optical scenario wherein most of our prescription which would fall in the total power which would be say 4 right so i will take uh, the example of minus 4 diaptrical here uh, i am talking about the total power now let us consider what happens to 4 say 1.5 index yes it looks thicker it is significantly thick so say if i go with 1.6 index that happens to be a best profile for me uh, now if i am sticking to 1.6 index if you remember from the previous uh, slide a value for 1.6 was close to 42 which is good and the optical clarity is maintained a value for cr39 1.5 index was 58 but the lens looks very thick so if you compare the two red circle i i will obviously suggest 1.6 index for the customer but now let us in the same line in the same minus 4 row let us see 1.67 and 1.74 in 1.67 and 1.74 ideally i don't see a high difference when it comes to thickness right so 1.67 and 1.74 would not be an ideal index selection for somebody who is having prescription in the range of 4 similarly you can just apply the same logic to minus 6 and you will see in minus 6 1.67 index itself is good and 1.74 is not required okay basically what happens is the abbe value reduces as the index increases just in 1.67 and 74 it is slightly different and the abbe value can cause disturbances and optically it is not very clear i would also like to highlight one important point here as the index increases light reflectivity also increases so it is important that there is an anti-reflection treatment being done on the lenses for a better clarity i hope i am clear here i am just going ahead and as usual i have an index homework for all of you right i have given two prescriptions here and i am going to read this i am going to give you time to read this I just want you to recommend the best possible index keeping in mind the cosmetics because as I said customer would like to look better with the spectacles and the optical clarity okay so recommend the best possible index for A wherein the power is minus 3 diopter spherical minus 3 diopter cylinder 90 axis and B wherein right eye power is minus 4, left eye power is minus 5.5 with minus 1.75 diopter cylindrical 120 axis. Hint to solve this, use prescription calculation which we saw in the first video and index recommendation chart which is in the current video where we saw an example of minus 4. Okay, all the best and you can submit your answer in the comment section. As usual guys, uh, details uh, that will follow in the next video would be on the frame selection which will be the part 2 and interpupillary distance. So overall put together in the thickness series we are going to have 4 videos, introduction part, part 1, part 2 and part 3. And with that I am ending this video. Thank you for watching and please wait for my next video. Thank you. Have a great day.